matuko all over yeah wa mashariki kwa all over yani wa mashariki natazama Kenya nzima kupitia DSTV 376 kupitia Star Times kupitia Signet kupitia Go TV simi ngi yote ambayo unatazama tumia unatazama kwa wapi maoni yako ni yapi na kipindi kinakupendezwa kwa wapi kuna mpenzi wako wako washikaji wako wako ni very simple unaacha kwa katika page ya wa mashariki unaniambia vipi Kendall Bisi Tiesca tunataka kibao hiki nikitakuwa nacheza afu nakumbuka nikwambia kwambia kwamba hapo awali ndio tutakuwa mgeni the boss Hehehe, mimi sisi mwenye itakuwa na yaribu Anatokia pande za masaku Kush, Tracy, inakuwaaji How you doing? Ukupo? Nama Javani, thank you so much for hosting me Na shukuro sana kwa kuja yani Kwa nadhani mwambu wana ungeambio I've just met my match Ha, naiva hivu ngabisi yani Eh, you talk fast Unazo baka ni kolek Kani si unaungeambio Kumbi hivu ndo watu siyangu wa kini ambia na ungeangabio Eh, okay Okay, but thank you so much for hosting me. Nashukuru the last time I was here, I think um, TSK to the corner. I didn't want to be a happy new year, mm. happy birthday last year. You know, it's been yeah. a minute, but Bale. it's always a pleasure coming Nabisa. to you. Yes. Minimum price, sana Kush. Wakati kwa nabuwa nikuwa na tunakutafuta kwenye simu, mm -hmm. ilikuwe sabi ya msini ya msini. Kush atakunja, hama itakuwaji. No, 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 if I say I'm coming kush. through, lazima antafika, unajua, yes. Nam. Nikisema Kush Kush, mm -hmm. kitu kipi kinakuja ya kilini? Kush Kush. Nam. See, definitely jina angu. Ayo, yeah. dangaria yelo ndo inakuza kwa kili. Ha, yeah. <laughs> kabisa. Kule ambako jina langu lilitoka. Naam. Yes. Ah, uh, nataka uniambie, unajua kushtress sasa hivi tukifahamu, tutakuwa tuna, tunataka tuweke watu katika ile environment ambayo unahitaji kufahamu. Tukiangalia sasa hivi kushtress imebadilika kutoka upande wa secular mingi katika upande wa gospel. Uh -huh. Vitu vitatu ambavyo ni tofauti sana katika maisha ya kushtress sasa hivi. Toka lipo kwa secular mpaka yuko gospel. Um, definitely, um, Nam. the way I dress. Nam. No, I still slay. Let's want to slay, like, now we are slaying for God, you know. Nam. Kidogo, kidogo, nimebadilisha mbabu yon kwa nava. Nam. And, um, I wear dresses, uh, nacha nseme hivyo. Sikuwa nava marinda. Nam. So, more of the work I do, imefanya, imefanya nkanza kwa marinda na pia, because of the gospel, you know. Nam. And, um, apart from that, definitely, mindset yangu imebadilika pia. Nam. And then, um, perception yangu ya vitu. Nam. And, um, just lifestyle. Yes, Naam. lifestyle yangu pia mbadilika. Kabisa. Mm. Kuna vitu ambavyo vinakosa majibu lakini kush stress uko hapo utakuwa unatokea majibu. Kuna mtu amekuwa akiniuliza mm -hmm. na ningependa umjibu. Kush stress akitoa perform zile nyimbo zake za mawe, zile za wezi ni dandia, ata perform ama atakata. Itakuwa ni mawe. Itakuwa ni mawe. Haiwezi. Haiwezi. <laughs> that, that is done. As in that is I I badly that was um that was me when Naam. I began music. Naam. Lakini hivi sasa mambo yamebadilika. Muziki the type of music I do imebadilika pia Naam. and um unajua wezi ingia kwa Mungu one leg up alafu so you have to be straightforward so Nam. i'm doing now gospel music inspirational music it's all about positivity Nam. and um the secular music ni miacha kando kabisa that was really fast kabisa, kabisa. that's why i really found youtube channel mpya for the new song you know i was like i just don't want to be like kwa hapo katikati unajua sitaki kuwa the fake girl Nam. so yes umezungumzia kwamba ukafungua channel mpya uh -huh. na mimi kwa kwa mambo yangu ambayo unafahamu kwamba youtube inalipa uh -huh. pesa uh -huh. videos video iko na vyo skibao zina unapata la kibao. Sasa kumanisha kwa mazili nyimbo zote za sewe hakuna revenue mbao unapokea. No, no, revenue itaenda kusaidia. Nam. Wano itaji msaada but I'm not gonna take anything from it. Like my hands are, that is done, that was my past and kikenelea kusonga mbele. Nam. Yes. Umesema kwa mba kushtresi sasa hivi ya mechana na kili ya kitu kabisa na inafawa mtu ya kiokoka uwa kuna kanisa mbao ili mfanya akaja akawa mtu mbae sasa ni mkristo. Sio? Kushtresi ni nda kanisa gani? Naenda mavuno, Nam. hill city, enye kwa the river. Nam. And um, I think hii mwaka ndo nimejaribu kuenda like almost every Sunday. Nam. Unless ili wonga Sunday imegunga na maybe an interview or Nam. a shoot I had. Nam. But I always try to kuenda any Sunday. And as kwa naenda church before ni yoko kebe, it just happened. Nam. That day, the previous Sunday I was out, hangover, Nam. on a Monday. Nam. And that Sunday, but then if church, I think 11.30. Someone in Ishanga 12. Nam. So I was late. Nam. And... And yeah, God is in control. I don't know what. See, explain ni ni fanyika, but Nam. after I got saved after service. Si kwa wako wakati watu wa nikuwa wamejaya kwa kanisa. It was Nam. just a personal thing that happened. Nam. But nika mwakweka kwenye mtanda undo. Nam. Like, I just officiate it. Nam. Sikuwa nikati, nilisema ni kisema ti, acha ni kikwe chini ya madzi. Nam. Before ni kuja kwambi watu ni meokoka. Nam. I'll just nita backslide. Tu hata stamaliza wiki. Ata singe maliza, singe maliza hours. Because I was planning to go out that Sunday. Nam. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Naita kushtresi. <laughs> Sasa hivi soso ukaingia kabisa tukona nikipua nikuwa na pita YouTube tukona wallover ikanza na uka, uka shirikishwa na LG Masai na kupa kupa kiba uka fanya vizuri wallover kabisa kenya nzima utoka kipokea vizuri ino tunajuliza hivi kushtesi uko katika gospel industry uh -huh. ama uko katika 
gospel ministry tukipenda tufahamu um definitely Nam. iko kwenye gospel industry na gospel Nam. ministry Nam. ministry itakuja kwa two part of what i'm doing at the moment i'm Nam. trying to learn more about god Nam. na kujua vitu more because yes i've always been a spiritual person Nam. but kuna bado vitu ambazo sijui and Nam. i need to learn them ndio niweze kuwa stronger in christ you Nam. know ndio siweze kunisi like at a temptation zikija niweze kuziepuka you know i'm still Nam. learning how to read the bible i've always been a poor reader lakini najifundisha kusoma biblia najifundisha one two three i'm doing a couple of classes that actually is nani idea Nam. and um definitely i've always been the gospel industry because everyone knows i started out as a gospel as a musician Nam. secular artist and music is part of me Nam. music is part of kush tracy so as much as say bado na na host show ya tv Nam. like eventually naingia kwa media but music will always be part of me it's Nam. like my first love Nam. so definitely Kabisa. kwa zote uko kwa zote yes. and unapiga <laughs> gunjia nguo kushoto nguo kulia sio sasa kiangalia kush tracy umezungumzia kwamba uko kwenye tv sasa hivi na mimi napenda kipindi chako kwa sana Masati. lakini ningependa kujua uko kwenye tv imekuongoza vipi kimziki Um so definitely kuna it's more challenging because unajua ku balance lazima sa like normally unajua kwa muziki uko unaweza kwenda studio any day Nam. but now i have to like balance the work days na kuzile siku ambazo siendi kazi ndio siku ambazo naenda kwenye studio Nam. so like my schedule is always like super busy Nam. and apart from that pia kwa kwenye tv actually ilinifanya i'd say it's part of it's something yenye ilinifanya nikagundua what i actually like my purpose you Nam. know everyone has a purpose in Nam. this world Nam. so as much as i was doing secular music when i got into tv it was a different persona kush stress yamean kwanga kwa tv kwanga now people could see the real me like the reasonable me and um the person who's like can talk like this is a real person you know kwa mziki yangu ilikuwa ngamo itakuwa ni pawe like nilikuwa na kaum msichana ambaye hezi ambiwa hezi sikia she she cannot reason yani she's all about parting and all that but sasa the tv imeleta the other side of me ambayo watu walikuwa like okay kumbe ni mtu ambaye unaezongea naye ni mtu relatable but my music was a whole different thing and um niliamwa tu kufuata what i know is right tunajua kila mtu jionga kitu kika peke yako utajua what you're meant to be doing na nilikuwa tunapigana na nafsi yangu kutoka kitambo ndam mziki ambao nafanya cuz i was preaching what i was not feeling unajua na mbia tutenye tutoa tutenye tufanye kuja tufanye nini but in the real sense that's not me ndam wewe wanga tu that was the ule that was just like a persona nilikuwa navalia but it wasn't me and Nam. right now i'm so happy sababu mziki ambao nafanya like the fact that the music, like the song i've just released god is in control it's one week old the the way guys are receiving the song the like imefungwa audience nyingine singe itap kama ningeendelea kufanya ile mziki nilikuwa nafanya because right now people are like tunaweza resonate as in this is life unajua Nam. so I'm, i'm 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 very happy with what i'm doing right now i'm Nam. happy si regret kuokoka by the way Nam. and i've always been saved but ni kwanga unajua ile uliokuwa kanga high school Nam. so sasa kabla ile iliokoka but you're not living that life True. but right now i'm very happy Nam. and I'm at peace Nam. and I love what I'm doing cuz na impact watu in a positive way. It's, it's not about the fame. Una just saying it's not about the fame or about the money. It's about what else can I do? What else naweza patia na huko nje? Kwa maisha mtu like ile hata kama siku ambayo yangu itafika kutoka kwa hii dunia, mtu atakuwa akisema but the ones chana at some point ali nisaidia kwa maisha yangu unajua hiyo design sitaki watu wa give up cuz unajua maisha ngumu Nam. so if story yangu ya fanya mtu apate moyo wa kuendelea kukazana na kuendelea kusukumana katika maisha Nam. I'm, i'm very happy to do it kabisa yes. kwa stress unavuongea unaongea na hisia kabisa mpaka mimi na hisi na unavozungumza na hisia unandurisha katika kibao chako kipi ya god is in control god is in control kitu kipi likuwa kilini wakati tunaandika hicho kibao god is in control it's hiyo ni story ya maisha yangu unajua and that uh, nikiandika i think sije andika mziki wa wote in a very honest and genuine way Nam. most of the music nilikuwa naandika nikifikiria hii walevi wataresponde hii watu wakiwa kwa club ikicheza like that was my that was my aim, you know Nam. i was all like ikicheza like watu watakuwa you know watakuwa na vibe na eh watu watakuwa na vibe baje but Uli mziki hata ukisikia vibe nimekuja nimekuja na reggae vibe Nam. yenye sikuwa nafanya kitambo Nam. nimekuja na melody ambayo sikuwa nimeka kitambo kwa mziki wangu Nam. i don't even think sisi sema hata nime rap kwa ingoma because everything is just you know like ile it was just from the heart Nam. alafu um, god is in control it's nimeongea story yangu nimeongea life yangu part of it not everything every song will have something yenye inatoa kuhusu maisha yangu and what made me get to this point you Nam. know and um it's more of, It was just a personal thing. 
and i just had to say god yani ungeniuliza singe kwa na kingine akusema it was yani god is in control yeah. i've been through a lot of things lakini mungu tu eventually yeye unifanya na survive as much as sengine nataka ku give up unajua sengine maisha inakuwa gumu yeah. sengine relationships zina kwa ngumu unajua yeah. the heartbreaks <laughs> the failures yeah. yani ukiweka hizi vitu zote pamoja yeah. it becomes so painful and sometimes you can't move forward uko hapo hivi umeka chini lakini you are trying to make the next step but umeshindwa kabisa yeah. you know you get to that point depression frustrations you're so yeah. drained physically emotionally yeah. yani hauna any other reason but god has always made sure the next step as much as niko nafika to my end alikuwa tu ana yani just did aka something yani niko inafanya let me just keep on pushing Nam. you know sengine kungangana kwa industry unachoka Nam. you are not seeing anything Nam. unapata pesa pesa kwa inapotea but god is always opening a way si kuanga na job stable unajua mziki ni ile hapa kule ukipata show bahati yako usipopata show ukula, unajua Nam. vitu mingi sana so alikuwa ngana nipati as much as si kuanga tena hit songs nyingi Nam. but ali make sure nilikuwa ngana ka relevance plan ningepigiwa simu nifanye show Nam. so at least per month every two months singekosa pesa ya ku move forward unaona and mimi kuja kuja kupata kazi kwa tv and say it's just god because last year was a time was nione kitu semangi na uoga last year nilikuwa ngana nimefika my optimum point i was very depressed if it's not my mom i don't even know Nam. i was very depressed nilikuwa nimefika tu mahali niko like mungu baba ukuje ama mimi nipande you get what i'm saying okay, okay. ukizungumzia hivyo mungu baba ukuje ama nipande sikiliza yes. kibao chako kama kuna sehemu uliko unagusa kama uko utakujua yes Na. and i say it's actually in the song Na. yeah you know i got to that point nilikuwa nimechoka cuz i'm like i'm yani i'm emotionally drained Na. from relationships zote niko nazo hakuna mali zinaenda ni watu wanataka kukutumia that's why i was saying me have been through rejection nime face like watu kunitumia Na. In the name of because I'm a good person I have a good heart ninge no. ningeamini mtu akiniambia ananipenda but in the real sense no. alikuwa tu anataka kunitumia you get no. so going through all that yani you just get to a point you just done you like mbona naishi hakuna reason yangu kuishi cuz no. no. anyway I'm doing nothing I'm just yani there's just no point of me being alive no. so I got to that point and I told yani god do something so media last no. year no. and I just got a call I no. went for an interview just the same way you're doing an interview no. and I got a call from um, actually it's, she's my boss no. and she just called me and she was like um there is a new tv station and no. I loved your energy when you came for my interview no no school ngara sina fuel I had to tell my mom mom I need fuel ya kwenda kufanya interview akaniekea fuel na nikaenda interview and no. that interview kafanya nikapigiwa simu kwenda audition no. i wasn't sure i was gonna cause i'm like guy mimi hata sijaingia kwa media <laughs> then you know when you're going for the auditions unapatana na watu ni watu watu wa mistari unashangaa ndio vipi watu umemeet kwa industry so no. uko like guy mungu sasa umenitatoa hapa video nitoka hapa nikiwa hat bro tena <laughs> no. but you know god is in control cause i got the job i was no. called i was told you have a job and from november no. Like I've always wanted to do TVC kwa najua nitafanya vipi sinaenda shule and um Mungu tu ndio hivyo nimepata kazi yes Nam. and yo, that's why I'm like uh, right now I'm going to use talent zangu Nam. platform zenye Mungu atanipatia zenye Nam. already ashani pana zile ambazo ataniweka I'm gonna Nam. use them for his glory Nam. and I'm gonna use them to impact watu positively Nam. like there's always a light at the end of the Nam. tunnel Nam. it doesn't matter what you've done in the past it doesn't Nam. matter what you've been through but you can always do better unaweza amka mimi niliamka by the way ndio musema niliamka na nikasema mimi nimechoka ni zima shida zote I'm just done and that me saying done that was done and i decided to do what i did i Kamisa. decided to get saved and change my life Nam. and i owe it to myself so i'm to mwingine unajua maisha ni wewe kweli ni wewe tu tukisikiza ku stress unajua umezungumza mengi ambayo yanagusa watu na sasa hivi najua yanawaelimisha kabisa mziki huu umezungumzia ni maisha yako god is in control tutarajie mtindo huu kabisa ku stress atakuwa naimba nyimbo inazungumzia maisha yake kwa sana ama itakuwaje no 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 kwa hata kwa god is in control Nam. the first verse ni mwingine more of my life Nam. the other two verses are more of na na napatia watu hope and i'm talking in general nikitukisikiza utakuwa like by the way this is true like it's not just me right now i'm speaking for a lot of people and to a lot of people so it's gonna be general music yes i'm gonna kurap nitakuwa na rap i'm just taking i just had to take time to get my feelings out unaona singekuja nikaanza ati yo sijui nini nini kwa ngoma ya kwanza yenye ni kwa zinge kwa nile na try to maintain ule ku stress wa kitambo but right now i'm just letting god like nipache give me kama the hook i really prayed to get that hook because i was like 
I really need something in your what one is a relate now. Na kitu na relate now kama cuz God is in control. It's a very simple statement. Yenye watu semanga ai enyewe tumeachia Mungu unaona? Very simple statement but I didn't know it's gonna come like in the form of a song. So at the end of the day I'm gonna be doing music general music mziki wangu hautakuwa itakuwa kupiga sherehe ni sherehe ya Yesu. Naam. Ndulu ndulu ya Yesu. Kama ni mawe tunachapa hizo mawe tunazibomoa watu wana move forward. It's just going to be positive music. Naam. Inspirational music Naam. and definitely gospel music. Naam. Kustress, yes. nimependa sana hiyo video nikitazama na mavazi umepiga tofauti tofauti unapendeza sana. <laughs> Nani alihusika sana kuhusika kwa kustress kupiga mavazi tofauti tofauti katika video? Uh, it's me. Ulikuwa nini inspiration gani ulikuwa unapata mbona kuna move eh? Ile stage najua ni tofauti kabisa bora na kuchesha kivaa vile. Na sasa nilikuwa nasema kwa ku change kuvaa nimeanza kuvaa marinda hata mimi mwenyewe was like oh okay and of course kama ni notice ni nitoa piercing zangu pia za mdomo. It just happened but inaitwa nini as in um kwa dressing i was like acha nikaseme na try ku force kuvalia decently but you know when mtu ambiwa wangu uki like hata after kuokoka I see ku tati piercings hiyo siku I still had my piercings for like an extra 2 weeks but I told God just work in me acha zip tu zifanyike ni ska feel na struggle cuz the moment nita feel na ngangana sana no. ita kwa ngumu for me to True. to move forward no. I'll just be and ta backslide tu haraka sana kwa like hey wewe imesha huku ni ngumu ni kugumu but like everything ime work tu yenyewe no. when I was going to get like nilikuwa na options yangu nyingi no. but nikajipata hizi ndio ngozi zenye nimechukua no. like it just happened no. the same way right now when i'm dressing no. najipata tu navalia the right clothes no. si feel you at ugumu ati eh hey, singwe inaonyesha onyesha ni <laughs> si feel you ugumu no. same way venye saini za pita nje ya club no. na sisiki kuingia i used to party monday to monday no. but sasa ina pita sisiki no. Since I got saved I haven't tested alcohol. I tried but it backfired. Nilikuwa nasikia ni kama sijai kunywa. So it's just asking God to just do it for you. Cuz when you force it on yourself you won't Naam. you won't uta utashindwa tunaipugumu. Naam. Na yes. umejibu swali ambalo ilikuwa nilifuata ilikuwa ni kuuliza changamoto zipi ambazo umepitia so far tangu ukiona umesema changamoto ni kama hizo kutamani kupita klabu pale vitu kama vile. Okay so far Naam. si feel hiyo urge ya kutaka kufanya vitu ambazo nilikuwa nafanya cuz anyway at the end of the day shetani akikuja hivyo na unakaa chini kwanza unajiuliza okay sawa niende okay sawa nishaenda hapo nishafanya hivyo what happened the next day Naam. a b c d sawa do i want to go through that again Naam. no done and then i just pray and then i'm good to go <laughs> <laughs> Kibomba sana ni kushitesa na vojibu pia nanipa busara zaidi. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho mimi nataka kufahamu mm -hmm. sana. Nimeona kazi umefanya na producer Thamos, sio? Mm -hmm. Lakini Thamos umeona pia umekuwa ukipiga kazi na yeye toka kitambo toka mawe yes. vitu kama vile. Mbona mm -hmm. Thamos tu? Sababu wakati nilipatana na Thamos, tulimeet na Thamos I think 2017. Naam. Ikija kuisha yeye anafanya aye um, akafanya mtaji wa mjui Naam. na Daiwani Jua love Naam. me bado. Naam. So Thomas ni mtu nimekuwa nikiwork naye and I always sema at the end of the day unajua hata producer yote ambaye hajulikani ndio grow no. lazima kuwe na ule msanii mwenye jina yake ili msaidia ka grow unaona Thomas ni mtu ambaye mimi naamini sana sana kipaji chake na apart from that no. sisi uko na relationship poa sana tukiwa pamoja yeye ni lewa no. alafu yeye unisaidia pia unaona no. so Thomas ni mtu nilimwambia hata anajua by that big up ana watch no. nikamwambia mimi like najua najua Mungu atafanya mambo mingi sana Nam. but it's going to be a process Nam. lakini mimi sitakuacha mimi nitakushikilia the more najijenga acha pia we ni kuinue uko hata a big producer cuz at the end of the day hakuna mtu yote atatoka chini kama hajasaidiwa na mtu mwingine unaona so the moment saika sai ana atapata watu anampigia simu like it's how produce for me a song why cuz you are the producers producing for kustressi Nam. you get Nam. so me i believe in um, nurturing talent and helping people and ile kidogo Mungu amenipatia na believe ni key spread out itasaidia watu wengi sana Nam. rather than nianze kusema acha ni sijui ni wakna nani koza kuna jina nani koza kuna jina just because nataka ku associated by name but hapo hivi najua kuna huyu akona potential anahitaji tu ile mkono wa kumshikilia kumuinua because yeah. the moment ngome imetoka imehit na producer nani 
hata the big artists are going to go and look for them to work with them True. so Nam. at the end of the day blessing to ile kidogo mungu ananipatia pia mimi na share because i believe the more i share the more mungu anaendelea to be blessed Nam. yes umezungumza sana kibao cha god is control ningependa tu kujua mtaratara upi utakuwa unafuatilia sasa hivi kutoka god is in control mwezi mmoja miezi miwili inakuwaje no 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 i think um say um god willing Nam. god speed Nam. every month nitakuwa na release mziki because um you know bado like kuna campuses na zinatakani ende show Nam. kuna watu ambao wanatakani ende nifanye show but i have to cancel cause na feel bado sina enough ya kwenda kufanya hizo show unaona there is a way nataka nikiingia kwa stage like i've always been a performer watu wanajua from my previous shows but i need to build enough content yenye watu wanaweza relate nayo unajua and it's gonna be different music different sounds Nam. kama hii ni kibao cha reggae Nam. but the next song is not going i won't tell you what it's gonna be but it's gonna be you know we are always tumejua si reggae sababu kidogo useme si reggae no like unajua unajua mambo yangu yanakuanga hapa mimi sina ga sound specific and that's what i love about thamos thamos does not have wansa nikimwambia bidhaa leo nasikia kufanya kwa hitu hata nipigia kwa ngwamea tukatufanya hip hop <laughs> tutafanya hip hop so you get so ananifanya hiyo pia ni challenge unafanya eh bidhaa mm. call over unajua mm. mm. so unifanya gapi na kwa na kai ni korada anasema uwezi shinda kwa style moja pia Nam. Mafanzo atachoka. So can you just do you are able you are capable of doing different sounds. So no, no. do them. So it's going to be different music, different sounds and different messages no. but at the end of the day it's going to be positive music, no. inspirational music. No. That's what I'm doing and definitely God's. No. Now I'm doing it for the kingdom. Shukran sana ku stress hiyo mdogo kwa kila kitu. Lakini wageni wangu wasi waachi bure. Kuna maswali na zitakali za wana. Tunaenda tuko haraka haraka sio? Na form natoka Machakos. Nipe sifa mbili za wachana wa Machakos. Wasiana. Ah, wanapenda chapati na maembe. Hizo ndio sifa mbili zao. Sasa. Ningeza wapi? gani ushaipokea YouTube ama Instagram ikakuumiza roho sana? Um inaitwaje mtu aliandikia ati actually it's a recent comment aliandikia hizo zingine sijali kwa sababu ni kwa nishazo ya watu kuni cyberbully na kuni troll kwenye mtandao unajua kuna watu tu sababu mtu apendi maisha yake na na machungu na na watu acha ni nikiwa nyuma ya nyuma hizi devices ana feel like very powerful like kitu kana mtu cause siweza za kukutafuta ni kuje nikuchapa ama nikukutie police unajua so mtu aliandikia ati ati i love the old kush tracy Uyu hii ni ujinga. Yeah. Then I was like Mungu fanya kama wewe. Mimi hata siongei. So I was like so una prefer mtu aendele kuteseka rather than mtu umesha yake asonge mbele. Yeah. I was like anyway unaja kutoka hizo uwezi fanya anything hiyo ni mindset yenye mtu ako nayo and that's what i say kuna mtu maybe kitu kile inge inge mu affect kwa like eh hey, acha nirudi kwa the person i was Nam. but at the end of the day when you are changing you are changing for yourself kwa jua ukiamua okay, kutake your decision ya kufanya life yako ikuwe better it's for you because at the end of the day niwakwambia utatoka kwa hii dunia ukiwa peke yako ukilia utalia peke yako utalia na mtu ambaye ujui mwenye tena kuandikia atakataka kwenye wewe aliyesema hivyo wewe kama unatazama kipindi sasa hii wewe social media wewe kama ulikuwa unasema hivyo unatazama kipindi uache vitu vingine usisemage Yes, tabia mbaya sio kushtresi umepewa nafasi mm -hmm. kwa wiki mbili uwe governor wa Nairobi vitu vile ambavyo utavibadilisha um i think kwanza nitashughulika mambo ya street kids na sikanga no. vibaya sana niko na kwenye street no. na na feel na yani kuna vitu zingine pesa watu tumiaga yeah. kuweka vitu zingine kwa hii city zenye sidhani ni that necessary like zinaweza kwa kama namba 10 kwa option list yeah. cuz zikikosa aziezi to affect in any way yeah. but i think kama there's a way yeah wanaweza come up na concept ya kusaidia street kids hata yeah. kani kufungwa unajua unajua majuto tunaangalia hizi homes za usiku maliki watu wenye wako homeless yeah. wanapata food na wanaweza kulala for the night the next day waende unajua ina, inaweza wapatia time ya kujipanga yeah. katika maisha yeah. like ile unasema okay at least niko na malipa kulala niko na food naweza kula hata yeah. kani one meal a day but the next day unaweza amko amwe acha nitafute kibarua kibarua like you can start a life from your kidogo yenye mtu amekupatia yeah. so i feel if the government could do something about that wange kwa amesaidia sana watu wengi sana yeah. and um, apart from that ni nyingine i just think yo as in hiyo ndio kitu kikubwa ambacho ungekifanya i think hiyo ndio kitu major na i think pia kukimbizana na mahoka unajua <laughs> sengine mtu ana prefer hawk yeah. instead of kwenda kushika mtu ungeta yeah. sasa 
mkianza kuinterfere hiyo hiyo kidogo yenye wanafanya no. unaweza fanya mtu akwenye no. machungu amwe ah, mimi hata nitaenda kushika wa mtu ungeta ni mnyanganye kitu niende una get no. but what after two solution yenye aidhulumu a normal mwananchi because the normal mwananchi is trying so hard mimi najua economy iko juu yani things are very expensive and kila mtu ana hustle tu no. so when you wana hustle your design no. just let them hustle cuz ujui hiyo ndio labda inasomesha watoto inalipa nyumba inafanya nini no. but hiyo kishinda mke wafukuza mnawashika sijui mnafanya it's just too much stress i think hizo ndio vitu ambazo mimi nishughulikia yeah. la mwisho kabisa uh, kwa nyimbo zako zote ambazo ushawe kuzifanya mm -hmm. ipo na mdidiki text wako x naam <laughs> that was it was that inside yeah. thought yeah. but mm. honestly okay si junta sema nini x <laughs> honestly sina sina x but so no one knows anything mm. but <laughs> x wangu ngoma leza mdedicate mtoto yeah. yeah. heartbreak god is in control God is in control. Yes. Mungu ndo atalipisha. God is in control. God is in control. Yaani kama kama hiyo rudi tu. Naam. But anyway. Kabisa. Sina machungu. Akikuja akuje. Anakubaliwa rudi. No. Akubali. No. Eh, saini ngumu, saini ngumu. Saini mara. Eh, saini ngumu. So I'm walking this direction. I'm not going that direction. So, anyone who's going to come kwa maisha yangu, lazima akwe mtu yani Yeah. lazima tuko tuko tunaenda tunaendana awe mchungaji mchungaji yeah. pasta hivi si si lazima ati mm. pasta but yeah. mcha Mungu acha tuwe mcha, mcha Mungu yes mcha unajua mcha Mungu ni mtu god fearing na mtu ana understand naam power ya Mungu maliko na ana understand your Nam. respect Nam. but mtu hizi elewa na mtu pia mtu hizi elewa chenye mimi nafanya Nam. it's not just for me it's Nam. for the greater good atwezi elewana kabisa so, yeah. naam kweli Kushiriki imekuwa shani na fari kubwa sana kwa nayo ndani ya mjengo wa mashariki. Hey, Kibao kizuri God in control. Okay. Uh, nasema ni Imekuwa <laughs> mshani ambisho. Hey. Imekuwa shani na fari kubwa sana. Naam. Sawa sawa. Kwa hiyo sana kwa kuni host. Naam, nashukuru sana. Kwa faida ya mtazamaji tu ambaye atakufuatilia sasa hivi katika mtandao wa kijamii. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Waambie tu wanakupata wapi. Um, kwenye Instagram @kushandaskotracy, kwenye Twitter @kushandaskotracy, kwenye Facebook @kushtracy Kenya and subscribe and do like leave a comment kwenye youtube channel yangu mpya kush tracy official kuna youtube channel zingine mbili extra but kush tracy official is my youtube is my official youtube channel from from this week forward wape mwonjo tu wa god is in control wape mwonjo tu ndo niko na try na try kufikiria hebu cheza nisikie Mudia God is in control. Unazomza mtu mingi kichangi kwa bayi. Hei ni kimbaba siya kwanza ni talia. Lia ya tuli itakuwa tuisi ya tupata. Tutani toksenia kulia hapa tuko na tieska. Tutakuwa cry boys up. Oh my God. My father never let me go. No, 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 God. Don't you let me go. I shall feel I shall feel no people Eh eh Nilikuwa niki tanga tanga Kila kuna niki randa randa Siku juwa nilicho taka Niki tafuta siku pata Ma situation nilini thanda Eh mtaza maji ya mesia kabisa ni kushitresi siku si feki sima auto tune lakini isa uteke ni upigia kabisa very simple kumuko na tag ato wa mashari katika nilwa bisa dj tis katkush underscore tracy ina kwa very simple na utamata zama kwa wapi maoni yako ni yapi huko na mpenzi wako kwa shikaji wako kwa mafamilia nzima na utazama unachia kome katika page wa mashariki na kisha kwamba kila juma tatu katika vipindi vyo tapa wa i254 una request god is control ya ke kush tracy na utakuwa na ipata na kisha pia unafotika katika mchanda kijami facebook twitter instagram at kush tracy tieska take it over shukran sana kush tracy thank you I do not music.